Hey everyone, Fincher NZ back with my latest Pokemon Go video. Um, so today is Swine Up Community Day, and as you just saw previously, that is what I uh, currently own in the way of pillow swines. Um, so there's a few, you know, mid to high IV ones uh, floating in the mix. So I just want to talk about uh, my goals for the day. Uh, no, honestly, I'm not entirely sure what to expect from this one. I know Swine Ups are pretty, uh, a little bit difficult to catch. Um, so as you can see, I have currently caught 560 swine ups, seen 601, and also pillow swine, caught 41, seen 42. So I'm looking to get uh, around 150,000 stardust today. Uh, but I do currently have uh, 8 uh, 10 kilometer eggs, so if I can manage to pick up a ninth and then hatch all them during the, during the day, then I'll be looking to get around 200k instead. As for the swine ups themselves, I mean, I'm looking to capture around maybe 250 or so. But um, yeah, let's see what happens. So just before I head out uh, for the afternoon, you can see here I have a few uh, evolutions to do. Uh, I'm not going to do them all, and I'm going to speed up the clip here. But um, a lot of these new dex entries, uh, the numbers represent their, uh, their IVs. So starting off here with a licky tongue. Uh, following through, we're going to have a, a Electabuzz and a Magma. Now, I do currently have an Electivire, uh, so I don't have a Licky Licky, don't have a Magmortar, and I'm also going to evolve another Sneasel into Weavile. Basically, the reason I'm doing this now is because of the guaranteed Sinnoh Stones. I'm running out of item space, so I want to get a few new Dex entries, you know, strengthen my team, and also lessen space. <laughs> And lastly, just before we head out, got another aerodactyl task to check. Nope. Okay, the uh, clock just hit four o'clock, which is the start of my Swine Up community day. Um, so we've got a bit of a little cluster here, six or seven. Uh, so let's check all these and see if I can get a shiny first up. Okay, so sadly no shiny in this cluster here, but um, I'll quickly mop it up and we'll move on. Wow, so um, about two hours into the uh, community day, and we have a wild drapeon. I uh, did take a, a few AR pictures just before, and they should be up on the screen now. Um, I don't actually have one of these in my Pokédex, but um, I'm just going to pine at Pokéball it for no reason in particular. You know, double candy, might as well risk it. Oh, there we go, guys. So, uh, first ball on the Drapion. It's the very first one I've seen. Uh, yeah, first ball, Pokeball, Pineapp. Super pleased with that. All right, so I did uh, obviously record my very first uh, shiny swine up encounter, but uh, for whatever reason, the video has corrupted. So, um, just go through my results shortly, but um, just to begin, I'm going to be evolving this swine up here, uh, 610. This is, uh, I think it's uh, level 30, and this is 98%, so it's got 15 on HP and attack, uh, defense will be 14. Uh, I'm going to evolve this one, you know, it's high level, high, high CP, gives the ancient power move.
There we go, Mamo Swine registered to the Pokédex, which looks uh, pretty amazing actually. Um, coming in uh, 2749, uh, this will definitely be maxed out, and also Avalanche will be added to it. Alright, so just going through uh, all my results for the community day, um, I did actually manage to pick up another 10 kilometer egg, so I currently have uh, 9 of them incubating right now. Um, so as you can see, uh, there's 12 shinies here, but I did trade one away, so I ended up with uh, 13. And also the amount I caught, so I caught 884, I think I was on 601, so I caught about 280-ish uh, Swiners, which I'm quite pleased about. Um, there's definitely, you know, they were pretty much everywhere and it was hard to hard to keep walking and catch them all. As for the Stardust, I'd say I got probably just under 150,000. Um, that is partly because for the half of the community day I forgot to uh, put on a star piece, I was too busy catching. Okay, so just to finish off, uh, there should be a few pictures, if not a video, on the screen right now of a Memo Swine. Now this Memo Swine is a 3D printed one, and so there's somebody in my community who creates 3D models for every community day. So there was only one uh, 3D printed Memo Swine, and to get this you had to have the heaviest shiny swine up. Um, so my one was 13.95 kilos so I was lucky enough to win this. It's pretty solid, it's pretty light, uh, looks amazing and you can definitely tell that it, that it is a mammo swine with the, uh, with the tusks and the eyes and the marks around its eyes. Um, so yeah hopefully the pictures in the video are doing it justice but if not it you know, definitely looks amazing. All in all I'd say this community day was actually one of my favourites. Um, that is probably more down to the what I achieved personally you know, in the game when they're three or four hours. I mean, got a decent amount of status, got a lot of shinies, uh, caught a wild drapion, caught a good IV and high level swine hub, um, you know, won the uh, 3D printed memo swine. So for me, that was, uh, you know, one of the best community days. It was good to see all the players out, you know, all the stops lured. Um, there was definitely also a heap of swine hubs spawning everywhere, like to a point where I personally couldn't actually catch them all. But um, yeah, anyway, guys, uh, let me know how you went during your community day. Did you achieve your goals? Uh, how many shinies did you get? How much stardust did you earn? Uh, let me know how you went. Thanks for watching the video.